Hello, I am Dr. Harvey Singer. The overall goal of this video is to train psychologists and behavioral therapists in techniques that can be useful in treating motor stereotypies. In addition, I'm hopeful that parents of children affected with this disorder will also benefit from this instructional effort. Here are several examples of complex motor stereotypies. As you see in these examples, a child will repetitively flap his arms, wave his arms. He may also jump or hop while doing these movements. Other children will put their hands in front of their face, wiggle their fingers. They may turn their wrists outward and, and wiggle them. Again, these are repetitive movements that you will see on an ongoing basis. I'm Dr. Richard Warrange. I'm a behavioral psychologist, and I've worked with children with stereotypies for many years. There are three steps involved in treatment. Step one is awareness training and involves helping children become more aware of their specific patterns of movements by practicing starting and stopping the movements for brief periods. Step two involves asking parents to collect information about when the movements are most likely to occur. For example, in the car while watching television or when the child is excited. Step three involves reinforcing the behavior of inhibiting the movements for increasingly longer periods of time. We hope that this video has been informative and you are now ready to try behavioral therapy.